let's talk about how to complete the origin statement task for the vocabulary research assignment. I'll be using the model example from English 8. However, this task is the same for both English 8 and English 7, so don't worry about it if you're in English 7. As I scroll through, I'll find the task below the picture task. Explain the origin in a complete sentence. Write that sentence below. Completing this task means first adhering to a formula. The formula is here in the annotation. The word blank comes from the blank word blank, which means blank. To complete this sentence, you need only fill in the blanks, and the first two are simple. The first blank is the word that you've chosen. In this case, I've chosen recede. The second blank is the original language of origin. How do you know what that is? Simple. It's listed here in the lesson. In these series of lessons, you will only worry about Latin or Greek. So, my second blank is Latin because that's what my lesson tells me. Let's go to a different word, and I'll start from scratch. If I'm using the word processional, the first two blanks are easily filled in. Processional is my word, and I know it comes from the Latin word. The word processional comes from the Latin word, and then I don't know the rest yet. But the beginning of this sentence should be easy enough. You can write it right now. The rest of the sentence comes from the dictionary. So, if I'm here on dictionary.com, and I look up the word processional, I'll check out the origin. The origin contains quite a lot of information that may seem a little bit confusing. It's dictionary shorthand. However, you'll become accustomed to reading it fairly quickly. Ignore a lot of the material at the beginning. What you're looking for is an early Latin root. Medieval Latin proce processionalis. This word may be my origin word. However, the problem is that not only do I need the origin word, but I need its definition. Because the first blank is the word, the second blank is what it means. In this origin statement, I don't see a definition for this word. The definition would follow right after it. Since I don't have the information I need, I go a step further. And dictionary.com shows me that I can go to the word procession, which is related. I'll click on that, and I'll take a look at the origin statement here. Here, I see that it comes from this Latin word, procession. And I have a definition, a religious procession, literally a marching on. So, I have the information for the last two blanks. The original Latin word is procession, and it means a religious procession, literally a marching on. My sentence is finished. By taking the information from the origin section of dictionary.com, I was able to fill in the last two blanks. This is a blank in the formula, and this is a blank in the formula. So the four blanks are as follows. The word you've chosen, the original language, the original word, and the definition of that original word. Now you've told a reader where this word comes from what the original Latin root was, and what that root word means. The reader understands how this word came into the English language. That's all you need to do. But do recall that when you finish this, you must make sure that it is punctuated and formatted properly. The first blank is in quotation marks. Second is not, but Latin is capitalized. The third blank is in italics. And the fourth blank is in quotation marks as well. Do that, and everything will be just fine. Easy enough. Buy the book, buy the numbers, fill in the blanks, and, of course, read your dictionary carefully. As you have questions, bring them to class or throw them into a discussion on my big campus.